So as you can see, the most recent game rants focused on the review event held for Metal Gear Solid 5 and the lack of disclosure from the gaming press has not been well received. In fact, it's the worst received video I've made in about two years. And for a situation of you made a bad point, which is why I don't like this video, I would be more fine with that. It's more the fact that it's obvious that the majority of dislikes and negative comments are due to people missing the point again. Every time I write a video or go back through it in post, I notice points where I'll say something for the sake of context or kind of to establish my stance, a preemptive explanation, but not elaborate on it because I do my best not to underestimate the intelligence of viewers. I expect to be able to say something and have the viewers connect the dots in a reasonable and logical way. When it comes to my subscribers, I know I can trust you guys in understanding the points I'm making and figuring some things out for yourself, because you're familiar with my style of delivery. You know that I expect the viewer not to just hear what I'm saying, but to listen, to take it in and think about it. Whenever I preemptively defend myself, it's more of a precaution for new viewers who may have missed the point. But in this video, I deliberately mentioned that my opinion on the reviews was not related to the quality of Metal Gear Solid 5 as a game. I literally said, quote, I'm not saying the game is good or bad. This is about the reviews themselves. I thought this statement alone was enough to establish that I don't think the game is going to be bad. After all, I fucking said it. I imagine the game will be very good. I'm probably going to buy it. On Twitter, I even talked about the fact that it was basically going to be a guaranteed purchase over Gears of War, which one person criticized me for using in the video and until dawn. That's not typical behavior exhibited by someone who hates a product to buy it over other products. And I just figured people would understand this without me needing to explain in detail in the video that this was not about the game's quality, but the circumstances encompassing the review. No, no, I overestimated the intelligence of the viewers. Read through all of the negative comments on that video. They break down to one of two complaints. You're too loud, which, yeah, obviously, and that's a moot point because my tone is irrelevant to the point. Also, it's called Game Rant, so what do you expect? And MGS is amazing, you're retarded, which first off, you probably don't play it yet, so how can you say that? And in other words, what they're saying is, I think the game is going to suck, which I never said at all. You can't timestamp when I said that, because I never did. It's actually kind of mind-boggling how so many people missed the point, despite how clearly I explained my stance in this video. I didn't talk about how good or bad the game was. I talked almost exclusively about the review event and the lack of disclosure, and somehow this was interpreted as Fringy thinks Metal Gear Solid 5 is shit, which is fucking retarded, because I haven't played it. So, to any of you chunderbrain dickheads who watch this video, let me be clear. I do not hate Metal Gear Solid 5, nor do I think it's going to be bad. I'm expecting it to be a very good game. But the video was not about Metal Gear Solid 5 as a game. It was about the practices of two parties, one of which should have been acting in the best interests of gamers, who acted unethically in a way that should be called out. That was the whole point of the video. That was the whole fucking point. It reflects in the title. It doesn't say Metal Gear Solid 5 sucks. It says don't trust Metal Gear Solid 5 reviews. Even if the game turns out to be as good as the meta score reflects, that still doesn't change the point that the reviews were conducted in an unethical way and that it wasn't disclosed. None of that changes, which is why I will never apologize for that video because every point I made in that video will still stand regardless of how good or bad Metal Gear Solid 5 turns out to be when it releases in a few days. Got it? Good. If not, seriously, piss off. 